Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this particular wardrobe design and its assets. So let's continue it. So few of the things are left to be modeled up. So let's just model the clothes as you can see the hanging clothes. How you can model it, you can utilize the line also. You can just take a line. So I can just select this so I can just go over here and I can slightly mirror this copy this over here So again I'll go into this, let's attach it, right click fuse vertices, weld vertices, let's click on insert. close the shape select this part and let's give fillet so in whatever ways you want you can do that So I will go into this, can convert to editable poly, oh I am sorry, let's give a, okay you can just convert to editable poly, select the polygons, extrude it like this. Select this line, give a extrude modifier of it. Now let's convert to editable poly. Now select the polygons, delete this. So just delete this part. So there are many other ways you can uh, utilize it for creation of this stuff so there are many other ways uh, you can just delete this So let's give some connects. Do 
don't use knobs toggle you can just and isolate this so you can just set it make it as 90 degree and we'll just put the hanger over here take a hanger I'll just take a hanger I'll create a hanger so we can just create such hangers over here select so this slightly give a bit of fillet so So select this and let's give fillet to it. So select this. Enable in viewport, make it rectangular slightly reduce its length so it's better you take a circle over here uh, convert to editable spline select the edges right click, uh, refine it, so put a point, uh, delete this part, and you have option over here called insert, so you can start connecting it. right from here down and enable in viewport make it as radial slightly resize it so I can just group this resize it rotate it so I'll go to the top view over here drag it in this way push it up and isolate all right so save your file once so it takes a long time whatever you are creating so if you are creating any kind of cloth or something for bed sheet mattresses also we can do that way so I will just duplicate this
So the other clothes also we can create in the same way. I'll off this. Even you can use a box over here that's totally okay so later on if you want you can uh, easily smoothen it up if you want to use box so you can also use uh, the box part if required so I'll just mirror it copy this over here Drag it here, attach it, fuse vertices, bend vertices, and again you have option for insert. You can just insert that. And you can just close that. So once it is done, uh, you can just resize this. You can just give a extrude modifier the same way. You can just go into this, convert to poly. Let's give a cut. Can join this. So even if you want to make it smooth later on, that can be done. So. Just keep on giving the cuts right away. So let's just uh, add, go into the polygons. Let's just delete this part. So select this, put some connects. It's totally okay. Again, put some connects over here. Select this edges, select this all and let's give some connect over here and let's give turbo smooth. So now looks much better. So if you convert to poly you can also give FFD box. So if you want, you can adjust it. You can adjust this stuff accordingly. In whatever ways you want to increase it, you can slightly just increase this the way you want into this. And if you go into this, you can uh, 
slightly increase the number of points over here so we can just increase the number of points we can increase the number of points ok I'll keep this totally ok convert to poly and isolate this I'll scale it I'll rotate it so we have this clothes part over here isolate this I'll just push this up and just copy this the hanger will make it smaller or slightly make it bigger So just give a color to it and isolate this. Alright. So just save your file. So guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So almost took a lot of time creating this cloth assets over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.